truth and a determined citizen who fought continuously to acquire knowledge can pass on at this time of our history. Dilating on his educational achievements, Dr. John Kerry Fosmart is recorded in history, is the second student from the former protectorate to graduate from Fulbright College in more than 100 years. We all know that the first protectorate student to graduate from the Fulbright College was the late Sir Milton Magai, who worked in concert with the late Dr. John Carrefour's part. As it has been the character and parts of the history of the most famous and successful people in Syria, Dr. John Carrefour's part started as a teacher at the Mulu Teachers College in the eastern part of Syria. Teachers have always succeeded in this country. According to records, the late politician Kum Academic also studied at the Otterbein College in Ohio. He also was later to be awarded a doctorate of medicine and a master's in study. As his own contribution in the war efforts of the Commonwealth, the Empire at the time, especially as it became necessary to bring the Second World War to an end, Dr. John Carrefour's part spent his last year of medical training as a commissioned officer in the Royal Canadian Medical Corps then stationed in the Bahamas, after which he returned home to become a physician serving his own people. He later earned yet another degree, a master's in public health from Harvard University in Boston, Massachusetts. He was later to be appointed the first African lecturer in preventive medicine at the University of Ibadan Medical School in Nigeria. He later worked for the World Health Organization. Ladies and gentlemen, the academic achievements of Dr. John Carrefour Smart and his exemplary career as a medical administrator can be narrated on and on. But that background, his academic background, prepared him for an equally successful political career. He was part of the team of politicians who clinched the independence of Syria from the British colonials, even as early as the 60s. The name John Carrefour's part was a household name, not only in Sierra Leone, but throughout West Africa. The success of a nobleman such as Dr. John Carrefour's part can also be found in the fact that his belief was anchored on the teachings of the Bible, which made him a great church man. His success can also be related to the fact that he was an excellent family man who saw his family as the nucleus of his other achievements in life. Since he assumed, uh, since he assumed office three years ago, the president, Dr. Ernest Bakrova, has said in many quarters that Dr. John Kerry Fosbach should be seen as a worthy role model and that his last days should be supported by people of goodwill. Many a time, the president made references to the fact that Dr. Kerry Fosbach is an enviable, or was an enviable, charismatic man, and such charisma made it possible for him to mobilize a political party, the United National People's Party, within a very short time, and pitch that party against older parties, such as the SFPP and the APC, and almost won the presidential elections in 1996, a man with great determination. Even though his aspirations to rule this country, as presidents, we are not met in his 1995 and 1996 campaign for the leadership of this country. That did not stop him from sitting on the benches of parliament to provide parliamentary leadership for his UNPP party. Dr. John Kerry Fosfat is recognized by the government as one dedicated civilian who served his country diligently and who also performed diplomatic functions on behalf of the Republic of Syria, especially during his tenure as officer in the World Health Organization. To many civilians, a man who traversed the various routes of success, challenges as well, to leave the ripe old age of 95 in a country where it is stated that the average lifespan of the average Syria is spent at 40 years, must be seen as a man who has undertaken a long journey and well spent. 
Dr. John Greyfast Bart may have passed on, but his name will never be forgotten. Not only because his, not only because of his political history, but also because his lifestyle encompassed a sense of honesty, a sense of dedication to work, a sense of discipline, and a determination to set bright examples so that others could follow. To the family of the late Dr. John Carifas Smart, the government of Sri Lanka shares your grief. As president, and as the president of Sri Lanka and his government, continue to pray that the soul of this patriotic Sri Union rests in perfect peace. Thank you very much. Again and again, and as a strong hallelujah. Friends, let us continue our vigil service as we sing the hymn that is here number two, item five, for all the saints. <laughs>